Hey YouTubers, um, this video is on my 1981 Honda Goldwing. I have no idea how many miles are on it. It just, the uh, speedometer quit about five or six years ago and I just never messed with getting it fixed so it stopped, the odometer stopped working but um, the miles on this thing are probably unbelievable. I did not find a video on doing an oil change and changing the oil filter on an, on an old 1981 Goldwing. It's a GL1100 and so I figured I might as well make a video. The other reason I was going to make a video is because I ran into some trouble. And the trouble I ran into was when I was in the process of trying to get to the oil filter, um, the bolt that held the cover on for the filter was stripped pretty bad so I got a little bit of work cut out ahead of me so this is this is my Goldwing and my uh, father-in-law sold it to us for a dollar which was one heck of a buy and um, it just runs and runs and runs like uh, any old Honda, they just run. That's what they do. All right, so last night when I first started working on this thing, I ran it for a while to heat it up. I take out my oil filler cap, which is right down here. So I had removed that. I kind of just have it sitting on there loose, keep dirt and dust out. And then after you do that, I'll show you where the, you gotta get down, get down and take out the drain plug. So hang on one minute. Down underneath the front of the bike, the drain plug for the oil, as you can see, it's out right now because I took it out last night, but it's right here. And uh, so I pulled that out and let me see, I think you need a, it looks like it's a oh what socket sorry it's a 17 17 millimeter and uh, then I went to pull this cover off to get to my oil filter and that's where the problem started bad if you can I'll get a close-up here the head of the bolt is completely screwed up so you can see how messed up it is and I uh, I couldn't get any type of socket to fit on it one was too small one was too big then I used uh, well, I'll show you yeah so then I tried using a heavy duty you know it's it's a it's a pretty good quality pair of vice grips craftsman vice grips anyway I started to use that and that chewed the head up even more so now I got a big problem my idea to fix this I'm gonna take I'm gonna try and use this little grinder here and see if I can't on uh, let me grab a, a bolt here so like on the head of the bolt I'm gonna see if I can't grind so if this was that bolt down there it's all stripped I'm going to take that and try and grind a straight edge here and a straight edge on the other side and see if I can't get two nice parallel lines to where I can get a better grip, maybe get a better grip on it with these and uh, be able to get that to come loose. I'm hoping that will work because if that doesn't work I'm going to really have a mess on my hands. So anyway I'm going to turn this camera off and <coughs> I'll take some more video here in a few minutes I just got done grinding see if we can get this on video but I ground down this side and I ground down this other side here and then I'm gonna try and take the vice grips if I can get a really good grip on it here like that and I clamp down really hard I'm praying that this thing will come loose so it's uh, I don't know who tightened this, but uh, 
I'm sure the filter needs to be changed and I'll have to try and find a new bolt. Yeah, uh, well, not having much luck. This is absolutely insane. I have that on there as tight as I can crank on it. And uh, it's, oh, I'll pull this off so you can see. It's uh, chewing up. It's literally still chewing up this bolt. Uh, hopefully you can see that, but I mean, it's crazy. I have no idea who tur who put this on, but it's so tight. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna try now. I might try heating it up. Um, I might try putting a little bit of a torch on it and see if that can do anything. Oh, a mess. Things are not going well, folks. And it's good I don't have the camera on all the time because I've been saying a few words that YouTube wouldn't really like. Um, it actually is now, let me see here. It's actually now, I'm even running out of some of my bolt head. I'm gonna try to grind it a little bit more. The vice grips keep popping off. It is really, whoever freaking put this on, really over tightened it. Then I caught my finger in the vice grips, which all of you out there that do mechanic work know that that happens all the time. Anyway, grind some more. Okay, <clears throat> I am so relieved. Oh my gosh. So, I thought I was gonna be in deep. You know what, because I had ground this down and nothing was working and the vice grips kept sliding off and uh, it was really bad. So in one last ditch effort, I used good old Benzomatic flame and I put some heat to it. I put the vice grips on it, put some heat to it and ladies and gentlemen, it is now moving and I couldn't be happier. So, uh, I will get back to you in a minute. Finally got it off. And uh, boy, I didn't know if that was gonna happen. So I'm gonna take this apart, but as you can see, I'm losing oil. I'll be back with you. This is the baby right here. And uh, as you can see, I pretty much destroyed the Although I disc grinded it pretty good. Boy, I didn't think I was gonna get it free. So this is what it looks like. And uh, I'm going to, uh, I bet that's gonna be a spendy little bugger there. Well, after wasting two hours uh, going to the local Honda supply, um, I could not find a oil filler bolt of course this one that I need is the part numbers 17100 and they have a 17101 and they had uh, of course everyone but this one so I had to order it which means I'd have to wait a week to two weeks and I'm not blessed with patience so I am going to order the new one but for now I'm going to you can see this I'm gonna just take the grinder and I'm gonna straighten both sides on this and I'm gonna use it for now and I'll just uh, be real careful not tighten it very much at all and then when I get the new one I next time I change the oil I'll put the new one on but uh, I think this I can get by with this <clears throat> so here's a before shot I'm gonna make that a little smoother on both sides before I put this back up. That's what it's going to look like. And it's not going to be very pretty, but I think I can get by with that until, like I said, I get a new one ordered. So 
Now I'm going to take this new filter and they give you a new seal to put on this. So I'm going to get all this stuff cleaned and put back together. Okay, I'm putting the filter cap back on. If you can see, you got to line those. Oh, let me see if I can. Okay, so those two lines go over that and then to make sure you're lining it up right up above you can see that there's a mark on your cap to line up with the line on the engine block so make sure that's lined up good all right I got the cap back on finally got that I made sure I didn't tighten this too much and um, just clean around the drain plug and Put the drain plug back in and then it'll be time to add oil. Alright, I got the drain plug back in and now I'm just going to take this off and I'll fill this up with oil. It calls for about 3.7 quarts and uh, that's all there is to it. Thank you for listening again or for the first time. Well, for the last time, we share this moment, and I am grateful for this. I was born to rage for my father's pain. <laughs>